a little bit about me. I am from West Virginia, okay? I'm from a country town in West Virginia. And I really, really, really need to watch this because I think I can relate to this man's words. I heard this guy turn down $8 billion because he values family. He values everything over being popular, being famous. This is going to be my first time ever taking a look at Oliver Anthony, rich men north of Richmond. Is this it? Okay, yeah, this is it. So I'm going to be pausing this. I'm going to be talking about this. I have a feeling. It's three minutes and ten seconds. Uh, this is it. Let's do this, man. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men, North or Richmond, Lord knows it all. Just wanna have total control. Wanna know what you think. Wanna know what you do. And they don't think you know. Gonna pause it right there. Okay, so. Just from my standpoint, my point of view, I came from a country town, okay? I came from a town in West Virginia that I really don't want to mention to you guys. If it's a small town, you probably never even fucking heard of it. Most of y'all never probably even heard of West Virginia. There's a lot of people out there that don't even know that West Virginia is a state. And I can relate to this because some of the rich people, some of the people that are in other states that that are not educated very well in the school system... In other states, they don't know that we are a state. We don't. We they don't know that that we split. We split. I think it was in 1800. Um, I can't remember whenever the state split in half. Um, but yeah, we split west to west and east. But there's Virginia and then there's West Virginia. I relate a lot to these lyrics. I really do. Um, the fact that he's talking about working a lifetime. Just enough for us to eat, just enough to for us to give, um, to give one another our family, and then you got these rich people that just literally don't have to work a day in their lives, and they don't appreciate their lives as much as we do. We appreciate our lives more than rich people because we actually had a life, we had a childhood, we had drinking from the hose, we had playing in the mud, we had jailbreak, we had freeze tag, we had all that stuff. Um, and seen a lot of, ever since I was joining Air Force, I've seen a lot of, um, a lot of ungrateful people that are just so full of themselves and it makes me want to get out sometimes. It really does. It really does want to make me want to get out and go back home. But, um, yeah, grew up in West Virginia, man. I'm a fucking country born. Oh, but I know that you do, cause your dollar ain't shit and it's taxed to no end. Politicians look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got Jeffrey folks Epstein. in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. The whole thing with Oprah and Jeffrey five Epstein. Foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this damn country does. Is keep on kicking them down Lord, it's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me For people like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is All it is Living in the new world With an old soul These rich men know yep. the rich men Wanna know what you do? They're all burning and I don't think you know, 
But I Greed know will be, that we'll you get the, guess, the best of them. Your dollar ain't shit. Yep. And it's taxed to no hand. Cause the rich men know the rich men. I'm gonna pause it. So, rich men north of Richmond. Richmond is Richmond, Virginia. Richmond, Virginia is, I think it's the capital. I'm pretty sure it's the capital of Virginia. Um, so, north of Richmond, I believe north of Richmond, all the rich people, New York City, um, you got Maine, you got uh, Connecticut, you got Baltimore, you got um, Massachusetts, all, all that stuff. Greedy, greedy fucking people, man, in the in the in the in the East Coast and even in the West Coast as well. Um, just if you live on the coast, you're greedy as fuck. I told this to my community many times. If I ever become popular, if I ever get to a million subscribers, I will never treat any of you guys any different from what I treat you now. And that's what this guy does. He doesn't treat anyone different. He did this dude is literally. I think he's at like eight million subscribers now. And he still treats his family the same. He still treats people the same. He, he doesn't want an effort. He doesn't want a record deal. He, I, yeah, I heard he got offered eight billion dollar record deal, and he turned it down because he wants to just make music and make people notice what's going on in the world today. And dude, this guy, you got to protect this guy, man. There's a lot of people out there that will, that are gonna try to go after this guy, man. Whether it be physical or mental, they're going to go after this guy. And we got to protect him because he's speaking the truth. Talking about the children on the island and the children, um, the which the politicians would take care of children instead of uh, sending them to an island. He's talking about Jeffrey Epstein's island and uh, the whole thing going on with Oprah with the schools and everything. They're selling kids to people to kill, to to to. They're trafficking kids, okay? They're trafficking kids. It is the number one sale in the United States right now that they are trafficking kids. Um, it's sad. It's it's a conspiracy theory, but it's it's becoming to light. It's finally becoming to light. Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell were on the front lines of making this aware to the fucking world. And they died right before they could release. Right before they could release the video, they died. Um, and it's sad, man. It's sad. It really is, man. And this guy's finally making it aware. You gotta protect this guy, man. God, protect this man. Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Yep. A fucking man. A fucking man, dude. And it's from Radio West Virginia. Of course it is, dude. So many people like to label us. So many people out there just they love to label us and just make us. A standpoint that we're hillbillies and we don't know shit, man. It can fuck off. Because we do know a lot. And there's a lot of people out there that don't even know we're a fucking state. Love that, dude. It was great. Such a great experience watching that. I had a feeling I was going to pause that and talk about it. That was powerful, man. That was powerful. A lot of people out there that are not aware of what's going on. And there's only one person... And you can believe of you can believe in him or you can't believe in him. You choose to believe in him. You choose you don't choose to believe in him. Jesus Christ is coming to save this fucking world from the shitter. One of these days, he's coming. There's one of these days, the very person in front of you is gonna disappear right before your fucking eyes, and you're gonna wonder where they went. That's the rapture. The rapture is coming. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. I'm telling you. I'm not saying that your religion is wrong. I never said that. Um, but it's coming. It is definitely coming in the future. And people are just going to be like, wow. Why didn't I listen? That's it. All right, let's get into this, man. Eight o'clock. My boys in the OC have released a brand new single that I missed. This is Bleed the Sky, The Parasite, featuring Mark Hunter of Chimera. <laughs> 